Welcome to this tutorial on surface properties in Chimera. In this tutorial, we will learn to show surfaces for protein and DNA structures, create images of protein surface colored by amino acid hydrophobicity and electrostatic potential. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Chimera interface. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Here, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 14.04, Chimera version 1.10.2, Mozilla Firefox browser 42.0 and a working internet connection. Here, I have opened the Chimera window. Open a structure of RTX CPD toxin using command line. Open the command line using favorites menu. On the command line text box, type open space 3EEB. 3EEB is the PDB code for the RTX CPD toxin. Press enter. The protein structure is displayed on the panel. It contains two copies of the protein. Type commands on the command line to delete one of the copies, that is chain A. In the command line text box, type delete colon dot A. Press enter. Observe the panel. One of the copies of the enzyme is deleted. Protease domain is bound to ligand inositol hexakisphosphate. phosphate. In short, IHP and sodium ion. Next, delete the solvent molecules present as red dots near the ligand. Type delete space solvent. Press enter. To delete the sodium ion which is present along with the ligand, type delete ions. Press enter. Now, we can display the structure of protein using presets option. Click on Presets option in the menu bar. Select Interactive 3 Hydrophobicity Surface. This will display a molecular surface color coded by amino acid hydrophobicity. Blue for the most polar residues. Orange red for the most hydrophobic. And white for neutral residues. Proteins generally interact with other proteins and molecules via their surface regions. Representing a protein by its molecular surface helps in the study of protein folding, prediction of biomolecular recognition, detection of drug binding cavities and molecular graphics. Back to the Chimera window. Next, to display electrostatic potential surface for the protein, Click on the Tools menu, scroll down to Surface Binding Analysis. From the submenu, choose Columbic Surface Coloring. A Columbic Surface Coloring dialog box opens. The colors and associated values can be changed. Default settings work well most of the time. Click on OK button. On the panel, we have the protein showing electrostatic potential surface. Red color for electronegative potential, blue for positive potential and white for neutral. Now let's see how to create high quality images for publication, presentations, etc. Make the sticks of the inositol ligand a little thicker using the command set attribute SVT a T T R space M space stick scale space 2. Press enter. Use publication preset for nice image settings. Again scroll down the presets menu. Select publication 1. This will create an image with a white background, black outlines and increased smoothness of the edges. At this point, we can adjust other parameters such as thickness of the line, lighting, 
etc. Click on Tools menu, scroll down and click on Viewing Controls. Click on Lighting from the sub menu. A viewing window opens with tabs to change different viewing settings such as Camera, Side View, Rotation, Effects, Lighting. Under the Lightings option, to view a simple line drawing appearance, click on Mode button. Select Ambient from the list. Observe the panel. To restore the default lighting mode, select Two Point option. Click on Close button to close the window. Save the image using Save Image option in the File menu. Let us now look at the surface representation for a DNA structure. Close the current session, click on File menu, scroll down and click on Close Session option. Open the Graphics window. Fetch the structure of a DNA using command line. On the command line text box, type open 1 D86. Press enter. The structure is of a double helical DNA with a molecule of netropsin bound to it. Netropsin is a polyamide with antibiotic and antiviral properties. Initially, this structure is shown as ribbons. The nucleic acid sugars and bases are shown as tube and slab representation. Scroll down the presets menu and click on Interactive 2 option. This will show DNA as wire and netropsin as spheres. Type the command to remove solvent. Delete space solvent. Press enter. To show the surface for this structure, scroll down the actions menu. Select surface. From the sub-menu, select Show. Observe the panel. The DNA structure is now displayed with the surface. Major groove and minor groove are clearly seen in this picture. The ligand, netropsin, is seen bound in the minor groove. There are three different ways to display surfaces. Scroll down the action menu. Select Surface. Sub menu has three options solid, mesh, and dot. By default, surface is shown as solid. Click on mesh to display mesh surface. Click on dot to display the dot surface. Click on solid to get back the solid surface. We can adjust the degree of transparency for the solid surface. Go to Actions menu again, click on Surface, select Transparency option and choose the Percentage option. For demonstration, I will choose 50%. Observe the panel. To give a different color to the surface, click on the Color option in the Actions menu. Scroll down and click on All options. A Color Actions dialog box opens. Change. The coloring applies to setting to surfaces. Click on the radio button next to surfaces. Click on any color you like from the color panel. I will choose dim gray. Observe the panel. The color of the surface is now changed to dim gray. Close the dialog box. Save image using save image option from the file menu. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to show amino acid hydrophobicity surface and electrostatic potential surface for protein and DNA structures, create high quality images for publication using different viewing settings. Now for the assignment, show amino acid hydrophobicity surface and electrostatic potential surface for the structure of human hemoglobin PDB code 2 DN1. Color the heme ligand green. Your completed assignment should look as follows.
The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.